Each of our lectures is going to have an associated discussion space. During the time that we talk about that, um, I'm hoping that everyone's going to have a little bit of some unstructured um, opportunity for discussion to kind of link to outside resources, to share their own thoughts and questions about different kind of like the material, um, and generally just kind of hash out um, the thing, like the ideas and the topics that we're discussing in each module. One of the things that I really want to do um, with each module as well um, is to have a little bit of video content that's going to be associated with each lecture, not where it's me sort of anticipating what you might say or the things that you, you know, could be thinking, but to be responding to some of the discussion items that happened in the previous discussion. So the goal is that if there are questions that come up, um, I can sort of address them again, like as a class. Um, I can sort of highlight some of the things that I thought were most important to be taking away from that discussion. Um, and I can also do a little bit to try and sort of have a little bit more bigger picture overview of how different things are supposed to hang together. So the idea is to sort of carry us from one topic to the other um, and provide a little bit of sort of background and context to each of those, each of those. Um, now, obviously, we haven't really had a lot of discussion yet, but I still wanted to have a little bit of video content just because I think it helps to provide a little bit more of that sort of live um, serendipitous kind of content that, that I think can be sometimes lacking in an online class. Um, since it's your, um, it's your task in the next few days to introduce yourselves um, on our discussion forum, I thought I would do that for myself as well. Um, as I mentioned in the sort of document in D2L, um, I did finish my PhD in the spring of 2014. Um, so in some sense, I'm still relatively an early career professional. Um, I, this is my fourth year teaching at the University of Arizona, and I really, really love it. Um, I teach in our master's program, and I also teach sort of just mostly in the eSociety program as well, though um, occasionally I teach at the undergraduate level in our um, LIS minor as well. Um, my background is kind of twofold. Um, I spent a while working as a business advisor um, in workouts and turnarounds. Um, then I went to grad school to become a librarian and I stayed and got my PhD and do sort of research that's sort of broadly related to um, some of the normative implications of different media environments. So I talk a lot about the ethics associated with social media. I talk a lot about how we um, generate beliefs and gain knowledge online. Um, and these are just the kind of things that I, that I study and I, I research about. Um, you'll see as we go on that we'll be talking a lot about the impact of print on the development of modern science. Um, and as we carry that forward, we're going to be thinking about how digital models of changing and of exchanging information can also sort of affect people's belief formation practices as well. Um, so that's going to be a really fun thing that um, is sort of right in my area. Um, and I'm really looking forward to teaching this class as well. Um, it's something that I teach pretty regularly and I really love doing it. Um, I think students tend to really like the class and it goes best for them when they are sort of thinking about ways to sort of bring in other things that they're interested in and sort of tying that together um, on the discussion forums. So really good things to do to be successful on the forums are to look for outside resources. Think about images of um, texts or books that you can find through different kinds of digital libraries so that you can have, you know, you can say like, hey, I found this. This is really interesting. I didn't notice that if you look at it, it has these features, right? Um, things like that I think are really helpful. Um, and I try to kind of give like students the opportunity to bring those in as much as possible. Um, and then we can discuss some of the more specific cases um, in different kinds of the framing videos as well. Um, so with that said, I'm really looking forward to getting started with you guys, and I'm looking forward to seeing your own introductions.